Do you want to learn how to make a logo like this? Well, I'm going to show you guys how to do it for free, quick, and easy. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so once you're at photop.com, you're going to want to go to a new project right here. For the dimensions, I'm going with 1000 width by 1000 height and click create. First thing we're going to do is create the circle. So go to your ellipse tool on the left side of your screen. If you can't see it, you might have to right click and see the other options. There is the ellipse tool. Click on that and just drag while holding shift and make a circle. I'm going to make it about this big. I'm going to go to my move tool and move it to the center of the screen. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So hit control alt and T and size it up. This should be good. So I'm going to hit that check mark. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is get the city skyline, which I have right here. I'm going to copy it and hit control V to paste it into my project. Now you might be wondering, how do I get this inside the circle? Do I have to cut it out? No, actually all you have to do is right click on it and click clipping mask. So now it should be in the circle, but this will only work if it's right above that layer. It has to be right above it. Anything in between, it'll mess it up. I'm going to scale the city down a little bit to about right here. Fun fact, I'm actually going to New York City for the first time ever next month. So that's pretty exciting. Next thing we're going to do is go to window plugins and search up free pick right here. Click on that and click install. Then it should be right here and you can use it to find images. So I'm going to go with a sky or stars is what I looked up last time. So we'll go to stars and a bunch of images will pop up. So I'm going to try to find an image that's pretty close to a galaxy because it looks nice. So we'll go with this one right here. Click on that and scale it up. You want it to fit in the circle. Once you're here, right click on it and click clipping mask. So you're going to have two clipping masks. You're going to have the sky and you're going to have the skyline, but you're going to want to put the sky below the skyline like this. So now we're going to change the color of our circle. So double click on that shape layer, go to gradient overlay. Click in this gradient box, and I'm just going to change this one on the far right here. I'm going to change it to like a really light blue to resemble a sky. So click OK, OK, and OK. So now the sky is gone. That's because we just added a gradient overlay to it. So how do we fix this? Click on sky and change the blend mode to overlay. But now you'll see it's still not showing. So right click on your shape layer and convert it to a smart object. Now it should show. Now it's looking really bad so far, but don't worry. If you keep following along, it'll look really good soon. So first, before we add our text, let's go ahead and change the background color. So double click on your background layer, go to gradient overlay, go into the gradient box. We'll change this first one here to a dark gray. We'll add another one by just clicking under this bar. We'll do a little bit of a lighter gray and this last one will be a dark gray as well. Click OK, click OK, click OK. OK, so now we can see what's going on. Let's go ahead and add some text. So go to your text tool on the left side of your screen. Click anywhere on your canvas and type in your text. I'm going to type in New York. Click that check mark. Make sure it's above these layers. Hit Control Alt T. Grab one of these boxes and scale it up quite a bit. I'm going to scale it up to about here. Click that check mark. Now go up to Warp. And we're going to change the style to whatever you want. But personally, I think I'm going to go with shell lower and do something like this. 10% bend. Click OK. I'm going to move the text up a little bit so there's more room down here to put our other text. Now you'll see there's a hard line right here. So let's go ahead and grab our sky layer. Hit Control Alt T. Hold Shift and drag this bottom box down. That should fix the problem. Let's get our text tool again and type in role play. Click that check mark. We're going to warp it as well. Ten percent again. Click OK. Scale it down quite a bit. To where it fits in the circle like this. But this time, double click on your text and change it to like a cyan or like a light blue or whatever color you're using. Click OK. Click OK. Now let's make this text a little bit more fun. So I'll show you exactly how to do that right now. So we'll start out with the New York text right here. Go ahead and click this new layer button at the bottom right of your screen and go to your pen tool on the left. I'm going to start on the left in the middle ish of the text. Click once, go to the right, same spot, click again, and then you can drag your mouse if you want. Like that, I need to go back, go to my zoom tool and fit the area so we can see again what's going on. 
back to my pen tool i'm going to click down here here and back to the start as long as this covers all the bottom of the text you're good click shape and go with a darker color than the text so like a gray like this now right click on that layer and clipping mask once again now we're going to do the same thing for this role play text here so click on your role play text go to new layer go to your pen tool and do the exact same thing now i don't know how to avoid the screen moving and oh i guess i can hold control and scroll that's nice i just learned that and we're going to click back to the start click shape and go with a darker blue you kind of want it to be significantly darker and you'll see why in a little bit right click on it and clipping mask okay now if you want to you can hold control and click both the layers and just make them one by converting them to a smart object so now it's just one layer that could make it more helpful for you man that control trick is so handy i never knew that i never knew that that is so nice okay so now we have just two text layers let's go ahead and label them so it's a little bit easier to work with this one's new york and this one is role play circle background okay so it's looking pretty good so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our statue of liberty statues so i have them right here i'm going to copy this control v to paste it it's going to be massive so hit control alt and t oops i don't know what i just did there oh i just made it black and white uh oh i just had to go back to channels and click rgb i think so now we're going to do that again this time scale it down a lot whoa i didn't know control does this as well that's very interesting anyways what did i do what is happening oh it's because i put the statue of liberty below the skyline let's move that to the very top now we're gonna move this bad boy to about here and move it below your text i'm gonna scale it down a little bit more might even angle it a little bit Control c Control v Control alt t and i'm gonna right click on it and flip it not vertical <laughs> i'm gonna flip it horizontally move it to this side to about right here click that check mark now i'm gonna hold control and click on both the statues i just made right click on it and convert it to a smart object to group them i'm gonna go up to image adjustments hue and saturation i'm just gonna get rid of the saturation and make it black and white click ok now for some reason the sky got deleted so that's awesome so let me go ahead and fix that okay so we should be at this point now we're going to kind of tie everything in together so what we're going to do is we are going to start with the circle double click on it and click stroke we're going to turn the stroke up quite a bit to about 18 and we're going to click this plus sign and add another stroke change the bottom one to whatever color theme you're going with and turn the size up more so i'm going to go with 32 because it's double of 18 it'll keep consistency now we're going to click on our statues or whatever you have like palm trees or whatever click stroke i'm gonna change it back to 18 and change it to black i'm gonna go to new york click stroke click ok role play stroke ok let's move the role play down a little bit more okay so now we're on our final steps so go up to window plugins click on color theater here and click install go back click on super bloom and click install that's all we'll need now click the x we're going to start out with the color theater which is this one right here make sure your top layer is selected click on color theater and choose your preset i'm going to go with morning blues click finish now go to super bloom and scroll down and click add to document then change the opacity of it to whatever you like I personally like around 30 ish and now you're done so all you want to do is go up to file export as jpeg or png and click save now it's a little bit different than the one i showed in the beginning because i made these at separate times but that just shows that you can make it in many different ways and different styles but i hope this helped you guys if it did leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one